Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. This is just a very simple video, I didn't plan on making this today but I was organizing some stuff and I thought I may as well just show you. I've actually been planning to show you guys how I organize my weapons for a while and this just seemed like the perfect opportunity. If you've seen in my recent videos I've been getting a lot of different figure and vehicle general Halo Mega Bloks hauls. This is a load of the uh, just leftovers. These are basically any duplicate figures I have. I have, well, I kind of have duplicates everywhere but this is my main stuff that I add into big job lots of products that I'm selling. It's not all for selling. This one is uh, obviously not going to be sold to somebody, but uh, a lot of it is uh, still pretty good. And there are actually a lot of uh, ultra rares and uh, ACs in there, particularly like Flame Marines. I got a load of those, um, but I've been organizing them. Oh yeah, and also this guy. <laughs> like, what is this guy? I <laughs> No idea what his purpose is. Anyway, I've been organizing these a lot and I have a load of weapons. I gotta organize these weapons, I gotta put them in their respective bins, so I thought I may as well take the opportunity to show you guys uh, what's in store here. Move aside, figures, we've got all of these weapons. And there's actually some pretty good ones in here. Uh, a lot of them are old. Pretty much as you've been seeing, all the stuff I've been buying recently has been old products. So things like these uh, really nice Covenant crates. A few colored weapons. I sold most of the colored weapons, to be honest, but I got some needlers carbines, things like that. I mean, things like this Covenant Needler, it never goes out of fashion, right? And even that Covenant Carbine, Mega have never made a better one. Well, actually, that's that's a lie. They have uh, released really nice ones with things like the Master Chief versus Arbiter, but, uh, you know, there's still some really good stuff in here. So I'm going to organize it into my weapon bins. And as you may have already assumed, these are my weapon bins. I've pretty much organized them into Promethean with a couple of bonuses. And then UNSC and Covenant slash Banished. We'll have a look at the UNSC one first because apparently it's already open. Beautiful. Look at that. I mean, you have to keep your weapons organized, right? And these organizers, very, very cheap. I think these are probably like $4 each. And things like, well, in England, we have uh, Wilco's and B&M Bargains. You guys have like Dollar General, you know? If you go to any of those discount stores, you can find these kinds of things. In here, you can clearly see that uh, you can remove these um, sort of dividers so you can expand to make a longer section. For the main long section, I've got all of these collectibles here, particularly backpacks and really anything that doesn't have a home. I have no idea why that's in here, but it is. Chain gun. Uh, you know, I really like to keep those complete if I can. And uh, this is actually really special. This is um, a figure from one of my uh, very best friends who, when I was a child, he moved to, I think, Australia, maybe New Zealand. So I kept this figure and uh, it's really really cool, Re you know, really special thing to me. Yeah, loads of backpacks, fusion coils, and then uh, um, in order of appearance, DMRs, battle rifles, saws, trip mines, sniper rifles, large shotguns, and then more recent tactical shotguns. We've got Spartan lasers, SOCOMs, Magnums, target locators of different varieties, including this one that comes with the rookie drone. Yeah, 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 it comes with a little drone. You gotta make sure these dividers don't come open though, and then your weapons will get muddled up. Then suppressed SMGs and regular regular SMGs with larger ones as well. Mobile shields, grenade launchers. We've also got loads of gummies. I've got a lot of gummy uh, different DMRs, as you can see. Don't know why I end up with so many of those. Ordnance pod, a gold flamethrower, assault rifles, and spankers. And these assault rifles, yeah, I, I really do love those. A lot of AC ones, quite a few smoke ones. Really fun, honestly, really fun. And this is one of my all-time favorite sniper rifles. It's not got its original uh, kickstand. It should be silver or white, but I still really like that from the Arctic ODST drop. Pod. Oh, and you gotta love, uh, you gotta love anything gummy. I love all gummy weapons. Okay, that's my UNSC. On to Covenant. Oh, there we go. Beautiful, beautiful. And yes, you can see there are some UNSC. We've got loads of flamethrowers here, particularly one, two, three, four of the uh, anniversary ones. This was Halo's 10th anniversary. Really special battle pack. We got some honor guard staffs, focus rifles, jump packs, plasma repeaters. We got different kinds of beam rifles, storm rifles, loads of these Promethean shields. Really like those. And then a large assortment of different gummy plasma rifles as well. Look at all those different colors. That's pretty fun. We got needle rifles, carbines, energy swords of different varieties, plasma pistols. We got needlers. Again, loads of different gummy needlers. Some covenant and banished turrets. I'm using all my spike grenades right now for my new Mombasa diorama, so I would usually have more. And then uh, the missile pods as well. And we've also got a load of assorted armors. I need to update this because I just have so many everywhere, so I really need to add to that. But uh, lots of nice ones, including some uh, elite bodies. That's our covenant. This one, I think this is probably my favorite. Uh, oh no. 
Oh no, what's that? Well, that can't be good, can it? Oh no. <laughs> Oh, look at all that flood. Isn't that wild, man? Isn't that so wild? Okay, so flood galore there. Absolutely flood galore. We got sentinel beams. We got suppressors and light rifles and binary rifles. Incineration cannons. Scatter shots. Actually, a lot of scatter shots, it seems. A load of different grenades, including some spike grenades. These these all need to be reorganized, I guess. A load of spare hunter needles with some uh, fuel rods. Brute shots. Spikers. A lot of gummy spikers. A lot of gummy more. Maulers, uh, gummy maulers, that does sound weird. Gravity hammers, a few more bits of military uh, gear and a spare Promethean sword, bolt shot, and a couple of jump packs. Shouldn't the jump packs be somewhere else? All right, so apparently I need to reorganize these, which I guess is what I'm gonna do now. Oh, and then a load of jackal shields, a lot of jackal shields. So that's the main focus out of the way. Now we're going to extend the tripod and we're going to sort all these out. Let's go. Folks, there you go. I forgot to mention a few figures, but uh, I got them all in general. This is how I organize my weapons, and I recommend you try and do something similar. I actually have an even bigger operation than this going for my spare pieces. I've actually, like, in lockdown two years ago, we organized my spare pieces so well, and I would love to show them off in a video if you uh, let me know if that's something you'd like to see. I got, I got my pieces so well organized, man. I'm so happy with it. And I got a lot more, you know, they're dispersed uh, in different places, and obviously a lot are on dioramas, like at least 60 plus. So um, not all there, but it's still really good to be able to just have them on hand and also just keep them organized. Just very satisfying to see. All right, so let me know if you enjoyed this kind of video and if you'd like to see more. As always, you stay awesome. You stay safe out there, folks. Thanks to my patrons. You can help support me for just $3 or more a month. And you guys are really keeping this channel going. Link in the description below. See you next time, folks. The weapons are signing off.